Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful fall Friday morning here at the ranch. It's starting off a bit chilly at just over 53 degrees. I've been starting off the morning here playing a little bit of farm sim on the gaming PC. Had a great time, made a lot of progress in my farming save. Let's get out from behind the desk and get going. Today we do have some projects and then we'll be heading into town to pick up a few new toys. Let's take a glance over there. Yeah, it looks to be a pretty cold weekend ahead of us here and as the weather is changing, we we do have some more projects we gotta get done before the snow comes on in. Let's grab a sweatshirt and head out the door. I'm really excited to be back here with the homeowner series, especially here at the ranch. So many awesome videos to come, and we do have a busy day here ahead of us. But let's first get talking about this garage. I really do want to maybe put new siding on it. I want to redo these garage doors or either paint them to be a bit more modern. Now on the inside of the garage, I want to refinish the garage floor. We have lots of stains even a few cracks I want to put new windows in dual pane windows and I also want to drywall insulate this uh, so we can have a nice work area all winter long to work on projects like the new project truck let's get both these doors open up and let's get going on working on that now last week we did end up picking this up here now I did do a full oil change I was rolling underneath crawling underneath uh, doing that oil change there so we have all new oil which is good I always like to do that especially when the truck's been sitting and I do have a new full tank of gas in it which is good uh, but today we'll be starting off here by color matching the bumpers we'll just do a quick vinyl wrap for now and if we do end up liking it we will uh, down the road be painting it but I really want to do a, a full new paint job on it not just leave it as uh, black here and the other thing we'll be doing is the tow mirrors let's hop on and get it turned on and get it going here with the toolbox I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how it is down below. Now the homeowner series is pretty popular and I will be switching off uh, starting next week between uh, this homeowner series and a new one coming up here. So hope you guys are excited. Maybe you guys can get the hint uh, which is pretty awesome here. But let's come over here to customization and let's get going. Now we could just do the tome ears, but we also want to do the tome ears color match that gives it such a nice look. It was a bit pricey so those mirrors came in at just around $1,500 and the vinyl wrap was around $400 here. My fingers are a bit hurt. Uh, that is a lot of work to kind of wrap the bumpers. All those different corners, but would you look at that, guys? This thing looks so sweet. Up next, we need a lift. We need upgraded wheels and tires, and we do need some other things. Maybe even a toolbox here in the bed. Wow, uh, this thing does look pretty sweet here. Now, what I want to do next is I really want to get this snowmobile going here. We uh, will be picking up a new snowmobile later on today along with a trailer because we'll be going riding a lot uh, but this thing hasn't been started in a very long time here so let's see what we could do let's see if we lift the back and let's see if we could just muscle it muscle it keep going wow and we pretty much got it there let's see if we can move it over just a bit here so not too bad for us let's hop on in and let's see if it fires up now I always like to change the oil here on it. We definitely have to do that, but it fired right up here. Wow, that is awesome. We'll just kind of roll it out of the garage here for now. And I do actually want to put that second gen in the garage. We'll just put this over here. And I am really excited for this winter year. So many fun winter activities like snowmobiling. Uh, we'll be going sledding, tubing, all of those things. Now let me know down below in the comments if uh, you do any of those because I think even just sledding down a hill, uh, driving around town, trying to find a hill to sled on is always a fun thing to do and that's something uh, that we might even do here in some videos about top here in the second gen and I will have to say this is one of my favorite body styles here for Dodge they look so sweet and this we're just really lucky to get it in good condition now, if you guys do end up enjoying today's video here, please drop a like. It's much appreciated as it helps out with the YouTube algorithms. While that Duramax warms up there, let's head around back and get going on the next project. Now, we've been spending a lot of time back here, and I do want to add some canopies. That way, the sun isn't overhead, giving us a huge sunburn and the sun in our eyes. Here we have it, both are in place. I'm really excited here for it. Looks like we do have a little tabletop for, uh, to put some drinks, even some food, uh, which is pretty sweet here. But look at the quality of these guys. Got them on a discount because it's the end of the season. I always try to save that little bit of extra money to put it towards something else, and that does look pretty cool. Now, what I'm thinking, maybe we could buy a smaller one, even move this one over. Uh, that way, it could be over the hot tub. I think that would be a pretty sweet thing to do here. But let's head on back, and uh, that's hot. 
Hop in the Duramax. Like I have touched upon, guys, we are picking up a brand new snowmobile and a trailer. Now, I was kind of thinking, what do we do for transportation? And having them in a trailer is the way to go here. Although we could just use the trailer we have, an enclosed trailer will be the safest way. We could lock them up, uh, put locks on the trailer when we're out at trails, and if uh, we need to do any work out there, anything like that, uh, that is the case here. But let's head on into town here with the 06. Now, this truck here, we do have some big plans, a lift kit, along with some new aftermarket wheels. It's always nice to get a new set, like a new pair of shoes. Now, if you guys haven't already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. That's a lot of awesome pictures and cool things over there, as well as my website where you can get the entire mods list uh, to all of the series and all the different videos that I do. When I was shopping for a snowmobile, I noticed that a brand new one is only a few hundred dollars more. So I said, why don't we get a brand new one instead of one with three, four hundred plus hours here on it. And they did give us the trailer for a huge discount as well. Uh, we are huge customers from them. And that's also nice. You build a great relationship with a store, a dealership, and they do give you guys some great deals here. Now this snowmobile was a bit pricey. I think just over uh, $7,200 here for it. It's not the top tier, uh, the most horsepower our model but it's good enough here for us but look at that guys our brand new snowmobile trailer will do a full walk around and also one of the reasons why I pulled that one out of our garage is I want to put both in and kind of take a look here and I think that's probably how we will store them that way it frees up a little bit of room in the uh, garage all right, let's get the ramps folded down here and get going on this. Now, I can't wait uh, to really try it out here, but this is a snow wheel trailer. It's a V-nose, 20 to 25 foot. We could actually put a snow wheel drive it right up the side ramp, which will be really helpful, and uh, we could put one in the back. That way, uh, we don't have to worry about uh, uh, one getting blocked in the other one not. But this is it, guys. $7,200, well worth it. This thing looks so, so sweet here. Wow, I can't wait to be ripping this around and just having a great time here with it now you guys can see this is pretty awesome and look at that guys zero hours as well which is great it's always nice to buy a new expression when it's only a few hundred dollars more now I've really been enjoying the Xbox videos here and so have you guys which is awesome I do have so much more Xbox content planned uh, maybe if we do get some new cool mods we could do some a thing like snowmobiling and stuff like that here in the game but there's so many possibilities for farm sim it's awesome that we do have a great game here now if you do need to pick up farm sim please use the links down below it supports the channel and I do have a, a partnership with Giants which is awesome now we have been using this 06 here to go back and forth into town here. It's about a 30, 35 minute drive and this Duramax just keeps racking up those miles. I think we're almost going across the 100,000 mile mark soon, uh, which is a lot, a lot of miles here. But I think this should go uh, maybe even to 200,000 miles away. Uh, we keep it maintained. Now I'm thinking when we do get back to the house, once we kind of test out uh, these snowmobiles, I really do want to give this a wash here. We haven't washed it in a few weeks. You can actually see the dirt all over it and including some mud there in the bed. I'm really excited for the snow season here. I do want to go skiing, go up to the mountains, and have some fun ripping around uh, these snowmobiles, which should be a lot of fun. We'll probably go on some camping trips as well. Now, I have been told by many people that this year we are getting a ton of snow, and that was kind of one of the reasons why I decided, why don't we get another snowmobile? Uh, we could bring a friend with us, a buddy, or even the wife or the kids, and just have a great time, and that's what it's all about here. Even in Farm Sim, you just want to play the game, enjoy it, have a great time, and it's also great way uh, to pass time as well and I do appreciate all the support here on the videos I've been getting a lot of feedback really awesome feedback and I do appreciate it it's always my goal to make the best content for you guys unique and also just kind of a different uh, uh, type of farm some gameplay as well which is awesome now I do want to bring back the farming series I think we will be doing one uh, this winter I will be doing a lot of live streams and you guys will be able to join on in but let's hop on this let's get uh, this uh, ski do loaded up here now I just moved the other one up just a little bit and we should be able to get both these to fit here I'm really really excited uh, to see how these fit here now it will be a little tricky uh, to do oh yeah we are going to definitely have to look into the ramp here I don't think the ramp goes down enough here but that's no problem we'll just lift it up just a little bit and clear right over it and yeah look at that we did it 
really do like that mod that is pretty helpful so there we go we got both in here they do fit pretty well uh, so what I'm thinking about doing I was gonna use that uh, side door but I decided not to let's get this Duramax turned back on we'll get the trailer disconnected here and I do want to give this a wash here this thing is covered in dirt and road grime now let me know down below in the comments guys if you do like washing vehicles I kind of find it pretty relaxing and it's always nice uh, to see and drive a nice clean truck pride of ownership is the best way to put it and that is something I really do even with my double X that I have uh, featured actually in some washing videos here and I do have some real life videos coming I'm really excited for but for now let's get the Karcher pressure washer to work I think pressure washers with a foam cannon and with proper uh, mitts and everything, you could really get these vehicles cleaned here, especially trucks like this. Uh, they do need to be cleaned here after driving them in the mud. We'll clean the bed. Looks like that's all clean, and we're good to go. Now, I was thinking we could go out there on the dirt track, but I do want to wait a few more days until we do get some rain and some mud. Uh, so until then, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.